Let's be honest, the Star Wars trailers have certainly improved since the first trilogy, despite the films not having done so, as of yet. I mean, have you seen the original Return of the Jedi trailer? It's just a roll call! Luke Skywalker, here. Darth Vader, here. Han Solo, reluctantly here. Regardless, let's take a look at some of the things you may have missed from the final Force Awakens trailer including all sorts of easter eggs and references. Bear in mind that there are potential spoilers here, but also bear in mind I'm right like 50% of the time, but never tell me the odds. Ah, bloody, bloody Star Wars quote in my Star Wars video. Straight off the bat, let's take a look at the Starkiller base, which we also got a good look at in the new poster. It appears as if this super weapon is built into an actual planet, with an assault on the facility taking place possibly towards the end of the film. And if it does, that echoes the first and third in the series. It even has some kind of trench. For old time's sake, this is probably the weapon in action. We see it just obliterate a snow planet. Or maybe it's exploding. I mean, it looks as if it is on a snow planet. We also see it activating from a distance. Probably from the new Star Destroyer, the Finalizer. We also see what looks like a different Star Destroyer bridge exploding later in the trailer. It's definitely the First Order though. There's a mouse droid present reminiscent of the Empire of Old. <laughs> Speaking of the First Order, there's a lot of Kylo Ren in this, whose real identity we don't know, though he's almost certainly part of the Skywalker lineage. Even wishing to continue the Darth Vader legacy, who began life as the galaxy's biggest crybaby. He's seen possibly with the Knights of Ren? A new Dark Jedi Order that sprang up after the defeat of the Empire. They've been hinted at in some of the new Star Wars novels, and we've even seen some leaked concept art. J.J. Abrams has also stated that Kylo Ren is not fully formed as a person, in the same way that Luke Skywalker wasn't. So it'll be interesting to see what becomes of him. Probably just a whole lot of murder though, considering all the dead bodies that surround him. We also see a fair bit of Han Solo, who's heavily rumoured to die, but I'll get back to that in a bit. We also get some good old fashioned Chewbacca, who looks like he's been recently injured. Han Solo's also seen hugging Leia, probably before a battle, or maybe even after. His ship, the Millennium Falcon, is seen at the Rebels' new facility, though now they're known as the Resistance. This aerial confrontation looks like it takes place at Skellig Michael, which is a real shooting location in Ireland. We just don't know what it's called in the movie yet. This looks like the same location, and you can actually see a Mandalorian symbol on one of the flags, reminiscent of Boba Fett. And if anyone recognises any of the others, please let me know. We also get a look at Poe Dameron, whose parents fought in the Battle of Endor. He's named after J.J. Abrams' assistant, as they share the same last name, and possibly his daughter's toy polar bear. He's being tortured by Kylo Ren, very reminiscent of Darth Vader. I think the movie will see him captured early on, after the First Order gets the drop on him. He's then subsequently tortured. I think we can even see see the marks on his face from the Comic Con footage, and then he's perhaps rescued by Finn? At the very least, John Boyega's character, whose last name we intentionally don't know yet, flees the First Order, and is hit with what looks like a homing missile, but not before taking Dameron's jacket and flaunting it for the rest of the film. I interpret this shot as, is it my jacket? You walking around in my jacket thinking I won't say anything? Luckily, it looks like Dameron gets a new jacket. Unless that's just one that Oscar Isaacs owns. Again, this is from the Comic Con footage. And I do have some speculation about that jacket. Star Wars jacket speculation. Hashtag Star Wars jacket speculation. This shot here has people wondering, who is this probably dead person? It's obviously someone close to Rey, who in keeping with this video has a last name that we don't know, but she's probably a Skywalker. At the beginning of the trailer, it looks as if she's watching a ship take off from inside the fallen AT-80 that she calls home on Jakku, the planet where she makes a living scavenging. Anyways, the dead guy. Some people say Chewbacca because of the hair. I don't know, I think that's doubtful. Chewbacca doesn't wear jackets. Hashtag Star Wars jacket speculation. Others say Han Solo, again adding fuel to the rumour that he's a dead man. He wears a jacket. Hashtag Star Wars jacket speculation. But there's also a possibility that it's Poe Dameron. The snow may have whitened his hair, and that jacket looks very similar in colour to the one that wasn't stolen by Finn, who also wears a jacket. Hashtag Star Wars jacket speculation. Whoever it is, dead or alive, I'm sure we'll find out soon. Especially with all this hashtag Star Wars jacket speculation I've been hearing about. Thanks everyone. Now if you are interested, I have a podcast called The Weekly Planet that comes out every Monday and covers movies and comics and TV shows. This week we'll be talking all things Star Wars, among other stuff. Probably. That'll be linked below along with some of my other videos that you may or may not enjoy. And if I've missed anything, which I most certainly have, please feel free to leave your thoughts below. Alright, thanks everyone. Take care.